Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. No Blood Moon on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. We're Friday. It's a Friday episode. Um, sugar butts. You guys are advising me that I should be taking these things whether I'm buying or selling. They work both ways. So um, that's what we need to do. Pumpkin cheesecake. Uh, pumpkin cheesecake. Huh. Where's the pumpkin cheesecake? There it is. Why wouldn't it show me that? Oh, wow. Look at that. It takes... That's not the right one, though, is it? I don't remember it costing me beer and cornmeal to make the pumpkin cheesecake. That's the one that we were looking for, right? That's what we've been eating. 5% discount when bartering. I don't remember it taking beer last time I made it. Huh. Okay, well, I tell you what. I've got to make some before we go because I definitely want to have that buff. So let's take one of these. And let's come over to the workbench here. Oop, that's the dresser. <laughs> it's not going to work that way. Uh, corn. Let's make cornmeal. We'll do a bunch of those. We'll get this stuff put away. We're, I, I want to work on the electrical stuff. We'll see. Uh, I remember that I saw in Jen's inventory, she had a bottle of acid. Now, I have been searching that wrong. We talked about that last episode, and I feel like an idiot for that. But I definitely want to make sure I get down and grab that from her. I have enough dukes. I should have just bought it. That's, uh, wow, it takes a little bit of time, huh? That's nine minutes to make 120 um, of those cornmeals. That's wild. Uh, we'll make, well, I've got eight jars of water. What else did it say? Fat and eggs? And beer. Wow, okay. So I found another beer in our, 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 our uh, liquid cabinet here. Pumpkin cheesecake. Uh, I need some wood. What am I missing? Beer. Oh, pumpkins. Duh. Pumpkins would be a good thing to have in pumpkin cheesecake. I gotta say, it would make it taste a whole lot better. All right. Yeah. This is the most obvious. We can make three because we got three brewskis. Okay. So the beer recipe would be good to have. Hmm. Interesting. Something different. I didn't need water at all, did I? No, did not. Throw that in there. Throw you in there. And the cornmeal, I think I'll put right down in here. All right, so pumpkin cheesecake. I just need the one. Oh, it's going to be done here in just a few seconds here. So let's just let's just wait up for it. That looks pretty cool, huh? I like that. And at night, it glows really cool through the vent up here. I think it's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. I like the way that light flickers here at night. And there's another one. And we'll just let that one go. Okay, so I've got the pumpkin cheesecake. I definitely want to get down to see Jen, but I feel like I'm going to be going the long way about it. Because uh, I think I should also go see Joel and see what Joel's got in his inventory. Because I've not checked him since um, inventory's changed. So I feel like I need to go check Joel first. And I thought since I'm going to be up by Joel, maybe I go north a little bit and we go into that snow biome and see if there is some sort of a town out there. Ooh, watch it, watch it. Ooh, can't see. Uh, you know what I mean, Jellybean? So I think I might run up there just to see if it's another town or is what I'm seeing off of the distance just a, a big complex. That's what I'm wondering. Look at all these farms here, though. I really have got... Oh, I keep saying that. I was going to do it today. I've been, like, tossing and turning about what it is I wanted to do today. And I want to do all kinds of different things today. I just want to do a whole bunch of different things. This is a horrible route I'm taking. <laughs> There's an alley. There we go. We're hitting the alley. Mm, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Sweet. Joel. Hello. Okay, so let's right from here. Let's go acid. He has no acid. Does he have any wheels? He does not have any wheels. Okay. And then his secret stash. What does he have in here? There's a wire tool for 450. Just made my own. I did. I made it myself. Robotic parts, shotgun turret, there's a battery bank. Player vending machine. Oh look, here's a bunch of books. The great the greatest heist volume. What's this one? Motion detection. The best loot typically has automated defense systems like motion sensors and auto turrets. Motion detection devices will not recognize you for three seconds when sneaking. Oh, never mind. 
I'm not interested in that. I'll get that when I get it. Uh, oh, you know what else I should search for is Bellows. Since I've not found the book for that, that's something we need. So he doesn't really have anything I'm interested in. Um, do you have jobs, Joel? There's a fetch. Tier 2 fetch. We've made it. We're going into the garage, looks like. We've got a satellite dish on the roof. Someone's into communication, for sure. Alright, let's see what we've got. Did I get rid of the candy off my inventory? I did not drop the candy off out of my inventory. There we go. That's what I want to do right there. Everything's loaded. Nope. Mm hmm. There we go. Perfect. I will strip this car down. We do need some more engines. I forgot I need engines for the generator. I forgot all about that, so I want to make sure I get those. We're going to bust this out of the way, too, so I got a place. Some room. Oh, look at the. Oh, we got a feral in there, too. Nice. Uh oh. My icon got stuck there. You see that? My icon is stuck down at the bottom of the screen. Definitely want to stay on her. There we go. She's got them yellow beady eyes, man. Can't have that looking at you. It's disgusting. Cloth. Cloth. Some nails. What's this beard? I think he's polymer. Polymer. Five. Takes eight to make one. Man. Did you see that? My pickaxe was staying highlighted. I had that happen to me the other day, too. I suppose I should put my wrench on. Oh, uh, there you are. Wrench would be good to use. I'll actually take the time to kind of strip this house down a little bit. Things like this, I just have to take. It just makes perfectly good sense to do it. Yeah? Are you moving slow? Nobody in there. <laughs> nice. That dude was feral, big time. Feral. Feral Keanu. I think we're clear down here. We can do a little bit of looting. Let's back up a little bit. Did I miss anything in here? We didn't even do this little laundry room area. Okay. Cloth and bones. Okay. I can see if there's anything else up in the ceiling here. I don't see anything else. And a biotic. There's some hide here. They want me to have those chrysanthemums, don't they? Is 
like something back there. Uh, let's clean up our inventory. We don't need that. Let's scrap those. Those. I'm going to drink a little something. Eat a little something. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. My biggest fear in these missions is I'm going to forget to grab whatever I'm supposed to be fetching. <laughs> Hello? I'm here to eradicate the zombies from the house. Oh, Victoria! Jeez, Victoria. What were you... Oh. Why are you up in the rafters like that? That's just, they were just trying to hide. A couple of kids just, you know, hanging out. Innocent kids. Had to climb up in the rafters to get away from the zombies, but it wasn't enough. They got killed. Happened fast, too. Oh, what do we got here? We got an interesting room here. This is, oh, I see you up there. Oh, that's a dog. <laughs> we got another one coming up on the side here, too. Dog's almost through. Oh, he touched me. Gross. Somebody's out here. Oh. Ooh. A goodie bag. Yay, there's a beer. Okay, have we killed everybody here? I don't think so. We've got this cabinet right here. Let's just check this here. I guess if there was somebody in there, they would have been out by now, huh? <laughs> Ooh, a level six. Pipe pistol, we need that for our collection. Oh, there's our, uh, there's what we came for. That's exactly what we came for. Those are the good guts. Got a dog. This is my axe. Go a little bit faster there with that stuff. Not as many safes as there used to be. At least I don't think there is. Motorcycle schematic. Oh, do we uh, maybe finish this up? Because we got the loot, the loot room here. There's a dead guy in there. I'm guessing we're not done with this just yet. There's still a few zombies left. Let's grab this bed real fast. That's a good one right there. We'll do. A, we're doing a little bit of wrenching, of course. I love doing the wrenching. It's fun. Seems like the right thing to do too. Bag. The six uh, leg armor. Okay, this is. Okay, everyone was. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, okay, this is this is clear. We have cleansed this home of zombies. Consider yourself cleansed, house. Sucks so bad. That scared me. Such lightning reflexes I have. Oh, 
Well, what's the purpose of that? Just to slow me down? <laughs> to scare me half to death? Success. Give me your guts, dead guy. Okay. Light mod. I'm just going to eat that right now. All right, we got a book we can sell there. Working stiff. What do we got here? Be something really awesome. Oh, the picks are good. Uh, I need to scrap some stuff. Oh, no. I'll drop the blueberries. Grab those parts. And I think... I think we're done. Where's the uh, the motorcycles over here? Let's go over this way. We'll go out this window here. I don't think I did the kitchen, did I? Did I search the kitchen? I don't think I did, but we still have to put all this stuff away. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to drop down onto the railing here. The car, whatever. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Let's drop this stuff off. We got a whole bunch of stuff on us. Holy cow. Lots of great stuff. Look at all that. That's from just the one. That's pretty cool. I can really get into that. That is excellent stuff. We'll just do that right there. Got some meds. Even got meds off of that one right there. But I, I don't feel like I actually searched the bathroom. I'm going to wrench this car down to see if I can get an engine out of it. And a little bit of gas just for driving over here. Here we go. Kitchen. Mm. Nothing really. Don't need that. Yeah, so I didn't really miss much in the kitchen, even though I didn't search it. But it's still, at least I know I've searched it, right? That's the main thing here. Do have anything up on the rafters here? I don't think so. That was hilarious when they came falling out of there. I got the booby trapper. Did I get this? Empty weapons bag. Okay, yeah. I guess that stuff's... Okay. We're good. Sell that. Sell that, sell that, sell that. I'm going to need both of these. Maybe I shouldn't take those until I go down south. Mm, yeah. Since I'm not really... I'm not going to buy anything from him. He doesn't have anything I want to buy. Uh, I'll take my dukes with me, though, just in case the vending machine has something in it that I want. That I want. That's that punker. That's that punker out there again. Making all kinds of noise. Rockbusters. I'm actually going to... Well, let's see how much we get. Let's see how much we get. I can't take it. I just cannot take it. I can't. I gotta shop in peace. I have to be able to shop in peace, you know? Joel's this soft-spoken guy. And you, you gotta listen really close so you don't hear him. Great prices. Well earned, traveler. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're very kind to say so. 168. That's worth 200, huh? I'm going to take that. And then I want to see your inventory. Maybe I should sell this stuff to Jen and then I'll get more money. And then I can actually... Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll sell to Jen. Okay. Sorry, Here we go. Didn't have what you needed. That's okay, Joel. We'll I'm trying to think about the smartest way of doing this. And I'm not very good at the whole... Buying, selling things from the trader. I can tell you that much right now. Uh, buy. I should buy these too. Well, she's got a oil on her, right? Let's let's go down that way. Joel's vending machine will always be there. We gotta go see Jen next. That's gonna be a little bit of a drive. Well, that was fast. Okay, does she have any candies anywhere we want? Let's see. 
Uh, there is an eye candy in there for a hundred bucks. I'll take that. Okay. And then let's see if she still has that acid. Does she have any wheels? I didn't check we there either. We got the best prices in the wasteland. Okay, so acid. She had a bottle of that. Bottle of acid, three fifty, three fifteen. And then what about wheels? No, she has no wheels. So, but we do want to do. I'm thinking it'd be a waste to put that on here. It's just three fifteen is all I'm spending. I'm just going to go ahead and sell this stuff without using the, the candy because the sugar butts seem really hard to find. If I've got a big load to take in and, and, and sell, then I think maybe that's when I'll use them. That's worth 112. That's not too shabby. Uh, what about you? You're worth 20, huh? 30? Oh, there we go. 200. All right. And then acid. Bottle of acid. I'll buy that from you. That's our first bottle of acid ever in this game so far. First one. <laughs> it's uh, It's a thing. Grave Digger, Automatic Weapons, Gyrocopter Chassis Schematic. Nothing really that else I'm interested in. So I don't know that I really have to come back here and check on her anytime too soon. The gunpowder wouldn't be bad to buy. Hmm. I'll buy the gunpowder. And what else do we have here that's of interest? No fat. Her book, Spear Hunter. Does she have bellows? No. Okay, I think I'm good. Thank you, Jen. I Thank you, you for the acid. See me sometime. Well, it took me a whole day to do a bottle of acid, but there it is. We have a bottle of acid now. We just need four more for the chem station. No, it seems outrageous, huh? It's crazy. But, it needs to be done. So, now I know that I've been checking them incorrectly. I'll be sure not to do that anymore. Uh, okay, so now I've got to drive back home, and then we're going to get started on something back at the, uh, the base. The compound. Hey! Hitting the wall. That's what it's there for, though. It was keeping him out. It sounded like we had one over here, though, too. Yeah, I hear him. <laughs> well, I think the crawler's actually down below inside here. I just didn't see him because he's a crawler. Yep. Gross. Whoops, it almost squished me. Okay, we're home. It took me all day, but we're, we, we, we got a couple of things done, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and get things uh, kind of organized and figure out where I'm going to go next and do what. I decided I'm going to work towards getting the power up and going today. Get some electricity in here. Some power. So what I'm doing is I'm downstairs, and I was kind of digging this the wrong way, but this is our wall. And then on the outside of this, we want to go, so if this is the wall of the building, this is one block outside, two blocks outside, three blocks outside of that wall. And I think that's as far as I need to go out this way. And I've got an idea how I want to run this down here. We've got everything we need to get it going and see what we can do with it. Level up. I have run out of frames. Let's get some more wood. I happen to have some right up in here. Matter of fact, I think... Nope, it's up in the building box. 4,000 of it. I grabbed a bunch when I was out there. I need to grab even more, though, because we need to go all the way around that inner wall. I don't have it quite dug out yet. I figure I'll probably get that done by the end of my weekend here. Oops. Whoop, frames. Let's do a. Oh, I had it. Let's do 50. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just do a nice wall like so. 
I'm going to upgrade this whole room to cobble. I think cobble's good enough. And then I'm going to do a slab on the top so I get a little bit more headroom up here. Yeah, it's just like that. I've got a little extra room on the side where the Jenny's going to sit. There we go, just like that. We got ourselves a little room down here. Oh, I'm going to need to close this up. Um, yeah. So you can't see in there. We'll do this all in cobble. And then when we come down, we just turn, and then we're going to have the Jenny right over here. So, I'm thinking maybe I should dig a little tunnel out of here to see where I wind up. Now, I said this is the ladder for the wall. No, this is the ladder on the wall, right? So, this block represents the inner wall. We got the outside there. Do I want to go straight up the side of the building? I think I do. See where we wind up. Okay, that's going to bring me straight up here. Okay, perfect. That's where I want to be. And then we're going to have a relay right here. With a, and allow a light in there. Then the relays can go right down the side of the building here. And we'll keep them tight on the building. Okay, so let's take that back out. Okay, so I'm going to have my Jenny here, my battery bank here, and I'm going to have my timed relay here, and then the line's going to go straight up and out of here. Now, the question is, is how am I going to get the line from here out? I might be able to reach from up there. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure with the wiring tool if I could do that. Uh, right now I need a bunch of cobble and um, a hammer so I could get a lot of that stuff upgraded. Let's see about that right, for, right away. Uh, the ladder and stuff I can wait on. I just want to get the kind of the room put together. Especially anything that's going to be sitting on stuff, Something's going to be sitting on it. I want it upgraded right now. Okay. Now my thought is, is that our relay is going to sit on something here. At the bottom. So that means that can't be there. I can't jump up on there either. Hmm. I could put the relay on the wall, though. Let's, uh... Oh! Yeah! Oh, I'm up. I'm up at the top. There we go. That was weird. Okay. Um... I got these guys. I need the wiring tool. I need that, the battery bank. I'm going to need those as well. Engines. Batteries. Take the three of the good batteries with us. So if I send this up, if I put the relay, the timed relay here, See, I wanted it to kind of sit straight up and at me. Where's my generator bank? And then I'm going to need my battery bank. Let's, let's do the first thing first. Jenny. I could do them both against this wall and run the wire across to here. 
to the relay. I can also put them side by side here. The Jenny back here, the battery bank. Yeah, let's do the Jenny here. Battery bank. Do I want them close together like that, or do I want to... Let's stretch that over. Did I grab the wiring tool? I did. Good. Now if I do that, and that connects to that, there we go. And then we're going to put the batteries in here. And we got to put some engines in here. Now I want my time relay. On something. Where's the box? What do I want that to sit on? I'm going to place that, then I'm going to set the relay on top of it. I should be able to hook up the wires from standing on the ladder, and then we take it upstairs. Uh, oh, but I'm going to need a relay upstairs as well. Once I... Oh, I need to figure out where I'm going to put that. Okay, I need to put that up first. So let's see. The, the, we're going to put the relay on. What are we going to use for a decorative block for that? Um, what is this here? One quarter side centered, one quarter centered. Oh, the relay would look nice on that. If I do that right there, I'm actually going to put my next relay more or less right here no no pick that one up that's the wrong one that is not the right relay but that guy there Come down here. I could put you there. That's not correct, though. It's it's not facing the right direction. Hold on. I'm going to want that dial over here on this side. So when I come down the stairs, I can reach it just fine. And then we're going to put you on the timed relay. And then from the timed relay... Can I reach that from here? I should be able to. One watt. Okay, there's our there's our line coming up out of the ground. Fits snugly to the house. And then I can run relays every so often down here. And then feed into the building. So let's see if we've... If, oh, now how am I going to get from there to in here? Oh, yeah, I can do this through the ceiling. The ceiling's not uh, fixed to where it's, you know, solid right now. We're going to have electricity in the base. There's going to be some power in the house. Um, hmm. I think about these guys right here. You really shouldn't see the wire come jutting through the wall, though. If it's going from there to the light, you might see a little bit of wire, but not much. I think it'll be okay. I have a light, right? I do. But let's use... Uh, did I did I leave the other ones in the bench or did I just not grab them out of the box here? The utility lights. I feel like a utility light would be a good one right here because this is a, a utility hatch. So maybe we do a light right here. I could do it up here too. I could do that right there. Let's see what happens when I do this. There's no there's no power to it comes right through that bar. 
Ah, <sighs> that's unfortunate. Okay, so what if we take... I mean, I don't have to have that bar there, but I, I would like them to be there because I, I do like the way they look. What if I do a light here? That's another option that I was thinking as well. Kind of in your face so we see them and enjoy the fact that they're there. They're really neat little pieces of artwork here, these guys. I do that. Now, what does that look like outside? Let's go take a look and see. I think it'll look just fine. If I have to, I can move that relay down one as well. Is there a block I could put there? Um, no. Hmm. I don't mind the wire being seen here. This doesn't bother me at all. Matter of fact, we're going to do... I should probably leave that channel open. I should put a hatch here, huh? Put a hatch here so I can go down and get to that wire if I needed to. If I put them on this level here, see, they're going to dangle over that edge, and I don't like that idea at all. That's a half block, so it's not going to stick on the outside there. I'm going to go with this with this right here. So what are we using for power right now? We have... doesn't say on that. The relay, does, it, does the relay not cost anything at all? I'll probably improve this tunnel here a little bit for this. I'm going to want this to start time at... Can I go backwards and is it faster? There we go. At uh, probably 20 hundred hours. End time. Let's make the end time. Uh, we It stays dark a little bit into the morning. Let's go 6 o'clock. Okay. So that means it's going to start and turn off and turn on all on its own. Okay, so now we need some gas. We need some fuel. Listen to him, man. He's a big crybaby. And if I drop you in there, refuel. Not too shabby. I turn that on. I'm going to turn this on. Do I have to have this on in order to power the batteries? I think I do. I'm going to leave that on. Let's see how that sounds upstairs. Let's make a hatch. I need a ladder as well. You can hear it. We have electricity, people. Look at that. I know, right? That's exciting. Now, I'm pretty sure I can actually put another light in here. Let's go... What happens if I do this guy right here? I'm kind of curious to see just how long I can run that for. I can't remember. There's a, there's kind of a limit, then you got to put another relay in. I'm just curious. This is my light off. That's not putting off a whole lot of light, is it? I can see where that's not going to be enough, for sure. Let's pick these up. Let me try them in a different spot. I think it's because they're between the cabinets. We're losing a lot of the light off of those. 
Okay, I've got an idea, but it's going to be a little more expensive. You come out here. Put you, I believe it's right there. You right there. And then we'll decide down here. We are going to go from here to here. From there to there. Outside of the building. I want to run, it's going to be a little more expensive, and I think this is probably going to be a little more taxing on uh, our power supply, but it's it's going to make things look nice, so I'm kind of willing to do it. Okay, so then I need to come back up here. I missed. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, grab you. Put you right there. Does that work? Yes. The feed's coming into the building. Okay. And then the other one is here. Did I pick that up? There we go. Oh. I guess I didn't put the inside one in. Come here into here. Okay. I'm going to do that. Because the light tucked in between the cabinets is going to be too dark. It's just not going to let enough light through. So if I come back and do this here. Uh, let's also grab the hammer and let's make sure we upgrade. Let's upgrade everything from there over to here. And then we're going to put our light here. And then I'm going to run my wire from here to here. Now, I considered running from here to here. But then it's going to cut through our wall here. So then basically I'm going to put a relay there and a one on the other side to just make it look like it belongs. So I don't want to do that. Left click. Okay, left click on it. Okay, so that really brightens this up much, much, much better. Than having that light tucked back in here. I mean, let's 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 compare that again. Okay, just so you guys get a, another idea about that. So I had that right there. So if I take you off of there and I click onto you, I put you down to here. Oh man, I unplugged it. Yeah, I unplugged it from outside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's good to make the mistakes now than later. So, that's the difference right there. That's my headlamp on. That's with it off. Now, if we go... Right-click in here. Much, much brighter. Much better. Excellent. Okay, so then here I can also go... I need to upgrade the block above me. I need to put a couple blocks back. Oh, I'm excited. Let's turn my light on so you guys can see. I can see better too. We can make this work a little bit faster for us. It doesn't... Okay, it's telling me it's using one watt. I think these guys are like six. It's five. Okay. We can, we'll have to take a look and see just what we have available to us. Ding ding on my phone. My daughter's coming over tonight. Should be a good time. All right, so we've got that, and we're going to have another light right here, and I've made those. And we'll put you right here. We'll go from you to you. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Do another one of these guys here. Uh, let's go ahead and 
do that. Put you right there. I should be able to go click and then to click. Okay, and then we need to go outside and get those moved over. Well, there we go. <laughs> Uh, okay, that one's done. I need to get over to here. Okay, so... Oh. Put you... Right there. Clicking from you to you. We're gonna have one side all lit up today. That's gonna be cool. I, get, I need to get from out there to in here. I could have done this from up there. I didn't think about it. Oh, uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we go. Headlamp off. Look at that. Let's see what it looks like. Man, that's cool. We put a couple of those out here, too. We get some lighting going on down the hallway here. That's going to look really sweet. We are using some wattage, though, for sure. Um, these are five, right? So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm using about 30 at the moment. 30? Now we're running on battery power. We have 28 watts, so it's possible that some of those, one of those lights is not activated. So if we grab those other batteries, those level 4 batteries, that should solve any issues we have with our power supply. We'll just grab all of these guys. Boy, that, uh, <laughs> that chest for vehicles is looking pretty, pretty sad. A little, little bit empty. And we'll drop you guys. Let's turn that off for a second. We'll drop you guys in here like so. Oh, oh, I'll put it as 269. Okay, I'm using 28 watts. I'm using 28. Okay, I'm putting out 269. Okay, all right. If we don't have power one day, we know we need to turn the Jennies on and charge the batteries. That's going to be our entranceway, and that's going to be our little uh, alcove for that. I think I am going to leave that light on the wall. Beautiful. Okay, so over here, I was thinking since we have a little more open openness. Uh, let's see where are those. I, I I would still like to use these because I do like them. Uh, we have no. Oh, I heard a wolf. If I were to do something like that, can I feed off of this one? You wouldn't actually see that go through. It's going to go through the wall there, but I could easily do something like this here. Put a relay there, and it would look natural. Or come up with a block that would make it look like there's a power box that's sending the power through here. That's a little bit better, but then if we put another one like right here, let's see how it does. Wow, that is really, really not very bright, is it? That's better, but it takes two. It takes two of them to do it. Hmm. Interesting. It could be, too, that they're sitting up next to... That doesn't seem to... Yeah, that does let the light out, doesn't it? Look at that. It does get it to be a little bit brighter in here. But it sees those blocks, and it kind of... Uh, Dims the lights a little bit, I guess, is what I'm, I'm thinking. It, it does. Our copy shape. Yeah, it just kind of blocks the light a little bit. I mean, you got some really cool shadows and stuff in here. I mean, there's that, or we can do another relay over to here. It would be right here, where the relay would go. And I would probably put the light, like, right up here. And it would shine down into this entire alcove. Uh, let's see if I can make... Can I make another one of those? 
I've got another 10 of those. Let's do another industrial light bulb. I really like the way they look. They're awesome looking. Very cool. Uh, let's go to blocks. Let's get our blocks back. Where did I say? Kind of right about here, huh? Take this one back. The other light should be done here in just a second. Let me turn my light back on so you guys can see. We'll find some place for these. Maybe just outside the garage doors. Shining down uh, into the entranceways to the garage would look good. Okay, so I'm going to go with you here. You're there. Okay, I'm going to have to put one of these on the outside of the building. Right above the middle window. Right above the middle window. We're going to continue our feed down from here. Okay, and then I'll go upstairs and grab the wire and drape it in on the inside. I'm kind of getting the feel for these stairs now. Just at the top, I need to remember to continue all the way through and then step away from it. Do you. Oh, to you. There we go. Oh, man, that is awesome. Look at that, you guys. We have power in the building. Oh, sweet mama. That is awesome. That is really fun. We're going to do one here. And then we will do one... Am I down one from the top? No, I'm right at the top, aren't I? Okay. And then we'll do one here, too. And we'll do our lights there. We'll put one right there, and we'll put another one right here. Well, I have enough juice to do all that. Oh, boy. Let's, uh, let's do two more. I don't know if I'm going to have enough juice to do all of that, but we can give it a try and see. Let's see if we can get the whole upstairs, the whole crafting, all the crafting sections lit up today. Boom. Oh. And, no, we don't need one there. Oh, where do I, okay, hold on. Oh, the, the other one's a chimney, huh? Ooh, okay, so we'll, we'll have to think about the chimney one. That's right, there's a chimney there. Might not be able to do this one right there. We'll have to see. There's a dog, he's down in our ditch. Sounds like he's in the ditch. He does not know we are here. Uh, let's grab the hammer back. Okay. And we're going to go right here. There we go. Okay. Do I have enough juice to run that? Oh, good. Okay, now how am I going to work this one? Because that is in... Ah, that's Well, what I could do here is... I could do something like that right there. And we could put the other light right here in the middle. I am going through the wall though and I said I didn't want to do that unless I could find some kind of a little conductor thing I could put there oh, there's got to be some kind of a block I can put there that makes it look like we're running power through that wall right and the line is running through it what do we got for pipes tube uh, let's go is it here here we go here we go is there anything that looks like a pipe that I could put that in? What about something like... What's this one? Pillar? Um, 
That's a half pillar. That's pretty tall, isn't it? It looks stout. No, it's too big. There are pipes, right? Is there, are, can I make pipes in the forge, maybe? Or do, is it just something I can buy from the trader? Because I'm thinking I could buy that from the trader. The small pipes and have a couple of those fittings sitting up here on the wall like the, the line is going into a pipe and coming out of a pipe to get to here. We probably have to kill this wolf here real quick. Must be on the other side of that wall over there. Can't grab those. Um, okay, so in order for me to run this across, around the corner here, I'm going to have to put one of these guys here, one of these guys here. It's going to kind of cut the corner, though, a little bit here. That's going to kind of... That might drive me crazy. Just a little bit, though. And I should be able to reach this down here easy. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, now i got to come from there. i got to go upstairs. Something like that right there. Oh man, that is cool. That is really cool. I just love having power turned on in the house. Look at that. It makes such a difference in here, doesn't it? Like that dark shadow back there in the corner, that's nice. Electricity. Oh boy. That is, that's a good time right there. That is a good time right there. Playing with the electricity. Then we'll run it into the, the main hall here. All the way through here. And then we got to run over to the, um, the forge room as well. We need to get light over here. So that's not something I've really thought about too much at the moment. I think maybe that the best bet would be, see, I've got this guy right here. So that's kind of a challenge right there. I could just, I could get rid of this one and get rid of this one. And then I was thinking is I could put a, a relay here and then run the wire off that relay to here and then put another relay in here and put another one here. And then we'd have one here and then we'd have, you know, a light here and then we could do another light right here and probably do a third one over here. I have three lights in this room. Although I don't know if it's necessary to have three lights necessarily because we're gonna have the forges going. And the forges are gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna move this one over one and then two, three, over one, two, three, and we're gonna leave this open area back here. I got an idea for what I want to do across the front of them uh, to make it just look more interesting and you know it's it's the forge room for Pete's sake. It's got to look pretty cool. Uh, so I've been leaving this for the end here, kind of, well, not the end really, but, you know, just holding off on it until I get a better idea as to what it is I want to do in there. We got power, though. Now, if I turn, it should turn off at 6 a.m. If that's what I, I, I believe I set it for 6 a.m. So all these lights should shut off, and then it's at uh, 10 p.m. I think 10 p.m. is when they all kick back on again. <laughs> oh my gosh, we've got power. I love the wires, too. They look really cool. Yeah, I'm going to come up with something. We'll come up with a, an idea for this over here. Part of me thinks that uh, I could actually do a relay here or run from here to that relay, a relay to the other side of this, to the light, relay, relay, light. But uh, I think I'm going to stick with the outside of the building. It looks good. It's not going through this bracket, so that's a handy thing. I'm glad it's not doing that. There's a little bit of a corner cut right over there, but 
then again, that's also really small too. We have electricity in our base, people. We can see what we're doing at night. During the day, we've got the natural light. At night, we have ourselves power. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a super day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.